Hello! One of Mrs. Steele's favorite things about school is reading stories to you guys. So on our last week of school, I thought I'd read a whole bunch of stories and put them up here on our Google Classroom so that you guys can check out some stories over the summer and keep reading because reading is so much fun and you learn so much from books. So now I'm going to read you this story, Peter Spit a Seed at Sue. Mary Lou and I were bored, and so were Pete and Sue next door. Over they came, and we were four. Four bored kids on a boring porch, watching a bug crawl across the floor. Just then, we heard a fella yelling. He was selling watermelon. Melons! Icy, cold, and sweet melons! What a perfect treat! Just the thing four kids could use to chase away the boring blues. We chomped and slurped and gulped and burped. Then Peter spit a seed at Sue, which hit her cheek and stuck like glue. Susie spit one back at Pete, which struck and stuck right on his seat. Pete spit two and Mary, at Mary Lou. How could I help but join in too? Come on, I yelled to Mary Lou. You pepper Pete, I'll splatter Sue. The seeds were flying everywhere, zipping, zinging through the air. Seeds were plastered to our clothes. Seeds were stuck between our toes. Seeds were tangled in our hair. Seeds got down our underwear. Off we ran across the yard, spitting fast, spitting hard. The laundry fluttered in the breeze as seeds buzzed through the air like bees. Soon our sheets had polka dots and dad's shorts sported leopard spots. We still could hear the fella yelling, Come on, get your watermelon! He was in the village square. Seconds later, we were there, gobbling up new supply. We slurped them in and let them fly. Off we swooped across the square, raining seeds down everywhere. Oops, one hit the traffic cop. We thought for sure he'd make us stop, but then he got an impish grin, grabbed a slice, and plunged right in. A camp bus rumbled to a stop and out the doors the windows popped. Sixty children shouting, yum! Watermelon, give us some! Before we knew it, everyone was clamoring to join the fun. Mailmen, nannies, grocery clerks, barbers, butchers, soda jerks, teachers, preachers, hard hat guys, even dudes in suits and ties. Through the thick and thin of it, we spit and spit and spit and spit till from a limo stepped the mare who fixed us with a steely stare. Enough, she boomed. Just look around. What have you done to our poor town? It was a sight, I must confess, a spitty, spotty, dotty mess. We bowed our heads and took the blame. We swore we'd never spit again and vowed to clean it up. But then, a baker with his cart went by and with a twinkle in her eye, the mare grabbed a whipped cream pie. Gotcha, she cried and let it fly.
I wiped the cream out of my eye and looked at her in great surprise. She laughed and picked up two more pies. Pie fight, cried Pete. Yahoo, me too. He grabbed a pie and so did Sue. Then pies were flying everywhere, zipping, zinging through the air. I turned and grinned at Mary Lou. How could we help but join in too? In the end.